Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making some keto shrimp fried rice. So, if you haven't made fried rice before, get ready for this. Um, you can use shrimp, chicken, you know, whatever you want, but we're gonna be making this with shrimp. So, let's go over our ingredients. So, first off is our kali rice. This is a one pound bag that's already riced. Um, I just buy the big bag from Koski. They sell these everywhere, so just one bag. And then we're using one pound of shrimp. This is already peeled and deveined. Um, I'm thinking I might cut these in half or maybe just leave them whole, but it's totally up to you. You know, it just depends on your preference if you want a whole shrimp or like little bits and pieces. And then we have two eggs, we have some salt, we have some little veggies here with onion. Um, you wanna use green onion, but of course I ran out, so we're using red onion because we need onion. Um, then we have soy sauce, we have some ginger, you can use regular uh, fresh ginger, but you know, I don't have that either, so we're using powder. Then we have some black pepper and some minced garlic. You can also use just like a you know regular garlic clove. And other than that, oh, and a little bit of oil. So you can use some avocado oil or some olive oil, coconut, whatever, you know, your oil of choice. So those are our ingredients. Now let's get cooking. Okay, so what you're gonna do here with the cauliflower is you're gonna cut off the little tip and then you're going to, so this has been sitting for a little, if it's still hot because you just pulled it out of the microwave, then you're going to get a towel. So I actually cooked this for about three minutes just to soften it. We. And, um, but it's been sitting out so it's not hot anymore. If it was still really, really hot, then you'll want to get a, you know, a napkin, like a big, like a kitchen towel, because you will totally bring your hands. And once I get all the water out, you'll see how dry it is. I'll show you once I'm done here. Okay, so I feel like I pretty much got most of the water out, but you'll see how dry that is and that's gonna make your um, cauliflower not be mushy and also cook way faster. So now um, we're gonna get cooking and I'm going to cook things in stages. Measurement here and we're going to do, we're doing olive oil, but you can do avocado or you know, your oil of choice. You don't need too much, but enough to, you know, fry your little shrimps. So we're gonna do first, we're gonna fry our little shrimps. And you don't have to um, put them in any type of batter. The Go to my previous post if you wanna see the batter that I used for this. It's kind of um, the batter for the honey walnut shrimp. And um, that's what I'm using, but obviously you can just fry the little shrimps without any batter. Okay, and just so your shrimps don't get all soggy, just line a, um, you know, a plate with some paper towels like this or you can even use a little, the cooling rack. Okay, so let's get started. Ooh, our little shrimps. So if you don't like shrimp, you could use chicken. So you can make like a chicken fried rice. Okay, so we're just gonna cook them for about a minute on each side and um, then we will flip, okay? Getting a problem. Okay, be careful. Okay, so now we're gonna take them out and we have a few more shrimps to cook that didn't make it into this batch. So you're just gonna take them out, like I said, put them onto a little, you know, a little paper towel, cooling rack, and um, and finish cooking the rest of your shrimp before we move on to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to add our veggies and our onion, and we're just gonna cook it until the onion is translucent, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our veggies and onion are now sauteed, and now we're going to add in the kali rice. Okay. Make sure that. There is still a little tiny bit of water, then you want to just cook that out, but it should, mine is fine. Just, 
if you're not able to get all the water, then you'll want to do that so your rice turns out really fluffy. So you can see how fast my poly rice um, cooked, or it's ready, um, because it was so dry to start with. So you see how it's fluffy, it's not sticky. Okay, and once your rice gets to this point, you're going to add in your seasonings and garlic. I'm gonna add my little garlic. Okay, I'm mix all that in. And we are going to add our ginger. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna use the powder because that's all I have on hand right now and it's gonna work just fine. So let me start adding in my seasonings. Okay, so we're doing a quarter teaspoon of ginger. Okay. I'm going to mix all that up. Okay, and we're going to do one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay. So that's one and a half. And we're going to do one teaspoon of sesame seed oil. This is optional, but if you have it, it's going to give it that authentic, um, you know, fried rice. Okay. So, let's put all this. Ooh, it smells so good. Okay. okay, and since we just added some, you know, liquid, which was the soy sauce and a little bit of the sesame oil, um, you want to keep moving it around until it's completely dry and fluffy again, okay? Before we cook our eggs. So this is pretty much almost there. I would uh, leave it maybe just another 30 seconds or so. Um, and once it's ready, we are going to, I'll show you, but we're gonna push all the rice to one side and we're gonna cook our egg. So we're almost there, almost there. Because you don't want to leave it wet because it'll become mushy rice and no one, no one's trying to eat mushy rice. Okay, and we're gonna grab a tablespoon of the oil that we pulled out after, after, um, we fried our shrimp, and that's where we're gonna cook our egg, okay? And I use, sometimes I use one, sometimes I use two. I think I'm gonna go with two, because it also just makes it a bigger portion. Okay, and right away, you wanna start stirring your egg, okay? Oops. You want to cook it, and of course you want to cook it all by itself, not with a collie rice, because then it'll get all mushy. So we're going to cook it just like this on the side, and once it's all cooked, then we will um, we'll mix it together. This is a perfect time to add your salt and pepper, and of course it's to taste. So let's go ahead and just add a little pinch. And if you like more salt and pepper, then you're gonna do that. Just add it. Okay, so now we've added salt, pepper, and we are going to mix it all up. And what do you know? We are almost there. We are almost to the finish line. Okay, so you could have totally just added one egg. I added two because again, I love eggs and um, it just makes it like a bigger portion. Um, but at this point, we're just gonna add in our little shrimps. And mix it all together. And this is gonna be amazing. I'm telling you right now, this is so bomb. And you don't even miss the real rice. <laughs> the call you rice. We make it work. So here you have it. Now we're going to serve and we're going to do the best part of all. The taste test. So look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so of course this is my favorite part of the whole video. Um, I'm going to do a taste test and we're adding some of this chili garlic sauce. I picked this up at Wally. Um, it's just kind of like a vinegary um, sauce that I always eat when I go to Chinese restaurants. So anyway, we are going to get the ultimate bite here. Ta -da -ta -da. This is so bomb. Oh my God. Okay. I'm not going to lie. 
This tastes like the real deal. You cannot even tell that there's no real rice in here. I think it's because of like all the textures. You have a little bit of the peas, the carrots, the onion, cilantro, the egg. I mean, basically everything is the same except for the rice, so I don't know. I just feel like it tastes like real. One more, one more. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. You guys have to try this. It's like a must. Okay, so now that you know, it's absolutely delicious. You have to go make it. Um, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope you guys really enjoy it. It's one of my favorites. And check out the, um, we'll link the recipe that we just made, the honey shrimp, which is absolutely phenomenal. So we're just like going into this Asian-inspired theme right now, and I'm, all, I'm here for it. So I hope you guys love it too. And until next time, I love you. Mwah. See you soon.